Okay, well here's an overview of our EKG course, uh, level one. We're going to have a level two and maybe a level three, but this is level one, G-rated for all audiences. All paramedics must know all this stuff. And it's divided into several units. The fundamentals unit has some information about the electrical conduction system. Then we talk about waves, segments, intervals, define what those are, talk about the individual ones. We talk about electrical and mechanical activity, try to get a feel for what's going on in the heart electrically and how that translates into the mechanical action that we're looking for. Then we talk about lead placement a little bit. Then we cover rate and how to determine rate with both regular and irregular rhythms. Then we talk about regularity, what happens with skip beats, what happens with earlier extra beats, and then everyone's favorite atrial fib. <clears throat> and we talk about P waves, how to get the best view, what P wave morphology really is. Talk about some dropped beats and then conduction ratios. Get into measurements real quick. These are short, quick hit lessons. Just what is the PR interval? Uh, what is the QRS and how to measure it? And what is the QT interval and how to measure that? Then we get in the meat of the program with rhythm interpretation. And we're going to emphasize that you have a stepwise approach. Um, we'll introduce the one that we use. But the big big idea there is that you've got to have a, an approach. You have to have a plan that you use every time. Much like assessment and airway and several other things, you've got to have an approach. Um, we'll talk about sinus rhythms, atrial rhythms, paced rhythms, junctional rhythms, ventricular rhythms. And then we get into things where the conduction system has issues, causes of those defects, something about accessory pathways. We'll do a kind of long lesson on AV blocks. AV blocks tends to be the thing that, that stirs up pneumatics and causes problems for students. We'll talk about bundle branch blocks as well as you know, the little variations of that. And then we'll get into STEMI identification where we talk about what is a diagnostic quality EKG, looking for ST changes, mostly ST. We talk very little bit about T wave changes in this uh, level one. Level two has some T wave and Q wave and some of the uh, STEMI imposters and some more of the subtleties there. But this is really pretty straightforward, ST elevation, ST depression. And then we talk about leads and walls. So it's a fairly comprehensive, uh, although basic, level one EKG course. We move on to level two. This one's rated R. This is for, um, you know, those outstanding paramedic students and probably best uh, left for someone who's been in the field for a year and a half or so. And all kinds of stuff in this, STEMI imposters, about refractory periods, Q waves, R wave progression. Um, we'll talk a little bit about atrial enlargement and biphasic P waves and some of those weird little things that probably don't make a great deal of difference to you in the field, but you never know. A lot of these things are to keep in your back pocket and pull out, you know, just a few times in your career when it really make a difference possibly. Talk about Wellens warning waves, De Winter T waves, Brigada syndrome, pericarditis, endocarditis, myocarditis. Uh, cardiac tamponade, pericardial effusions, hypo and hyperkalemia, and then the pulmonary embolus uh, stuff as well. Then we've got some stuff on hypothermia, um, some EKG changes that occur when you have a massive CNS injury. And we talk about a couple of funky different leads, a Lewis lead, an MCL1, and some little strange things you can do with leads that might give you a better view of something, particularly P waves. Benign early repole gets involved, left ventricular hypertrophy, and then hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, these are all really kind of extra, and this is probably going to end up being level three uh, stuff, and then we may find some more things that we do with level three. So there's level one, the fundamental G-rated stuff for all audiences, and then uh, for those that want a little bit more and have mastered level one, then we can do another level or two on top of that. So that's just a quick overview of our EKG, or ECG, I should say ECG course.